everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Does anybody else think that the Ford Bronco looks a lot like the Toyota FJ Cruiser? You know, the old Cruiser. I just saw one on the road and I thought, wow, that's not too bad looking for a, a Ford Bronco. You know, it had different wheels and tires. They were negatively offset. They were sticking out. And then I got up close to it and I realized it was not a Ford Bronco. Although I do think the Broncos look good with bigger wheels and tires and extend it out a little bit. Anyway, out here cruising around in the Tacoma, I'm doing a little bit of a test drive. I put a new mod on, actually two new mods recently, and this is I think the second, maybe the second time I've been out with both of them on. Uh, one is the sport bar on the back. There's a whole install video on that. I'm not done with that yet at this point. I'm gonna add some lights and stuff onto it. Not not uh, big giant KCs or anything. We're not trying to recreate that iconic back to the future look. Although I do like that, that was a pretty cool truck. I, I think honestly, that might be when I actually started to really like Toyota trucks. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do some lights across the top on that. That's coming. I kind of had to come up with my own way to mount them up there, which I did. It's been painted. It's now waiting to dry. So we'll get on with that. I also put some new, different uh, fog lights in the front. I had the smoked, which I think looked just fine. They were smoked LED fog lights. But I decided I'm changing around the theme of the truck a little bit. And I've done this uh, in the past on other Tacomas. You know, I get, I guess I get bored and I want to kind of mix things up a little bit. So I'm doing that. I'm going with a, an orange kind of a theme now. It was black. Now we're going orange. And amber fits right in there with the orange category as far as I'm concerned. So I put some orange aux beam amber lights in the front. I had a little bit of a problem, though, doing it. I was all set, had them all plugged in, ready to go. And thank goodness I actually thought to test them before I finished. In other words, stuck them in and tried to thread that screw in from the top. I did not go in through the wheel wells. I actually think it's it's quicker if you go in through the top. You don't have to take everything apart, either pull the grill or pull the fender flares back. I mean, it's just quicker if you can do it through the top, which you can, you just have to feel for that screw. So anyway, I, uh, I decided to go ahead and test it out before I actually mounted them, finished it. And neither one of them worked. Apparently, the little short adapter piece that Oxbeam supplies with the kit that you get that has the round bezel in it so you can put the square uh, fog lights into a round hole and make it look good, it didn't work because I ended up cutting the wires off of the previous fog lights, splicing them into the wiring harness that came with the kit, plugged them in, and they're fine. So it had something to do with that connector. I don't know. Maybe the system didn't like it. I don't know. It was really kind of odd. They are LED lights, so I, I can't really say that it's an LED problem or anything. And since I was able to splice and plug in and they worked, I got to think it was in those two connectors, which is really kind of odd. I mean, to get two things that don't work in a kit is, is strange. I mean, I can see one, but not two. Unless the manufacturer just had a bad batch or something. I mean, I don't really know. So anyway, we've got those two things on. Obviously, the fog lights make no difference in driving uh, unless I turn them on and people can see them. But otherwise, they don't make any difference. The sport bar, on the other hand, has some weight to it. It's probably, eh, I would guess, 50 to 75 pounds, something like that. So of course, I've reduced the hauling capacity of the truck by that amount, uh, and uh, probably my gas mileage as well. And speaking of gas mileage, let's take a look. Right now, I'm getting 15.2 miles per gallon. Now, that's just driving around mostly 50 and well, 55 and under, probably about half and half. Uh, it is on the increase right now because I've been at 55 for a while now. However, I'm sure as soon as I get to an area that's uh, slower, that number is going to drop as it always does. And it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. I know I've talked about it a lot on the channel about the fuel economy, but 
I don't think you've ever heard me say that I can't stand it, it really bothers me, it's horrible. I mean, it is horrible, but not to the point that it really bothers me. I mean, I knew what I was in for when I bought this truck and every other truck I've had. Trucks just don't get good fuel economy, it's the way it is. Uh, and it's funny, I have a new truck now, by the way, uh, and that truck, full size, I'm not sure the timing of this video, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, although you may already know if you watch my other channel, Rob Motive JT, uh, what that is. And speaking of channels, go ahead and click that subscribe button while you're here. And don't forget, click that notification bell too. But anyway, I have a full size truck on that channel now, and it gets better gas mileage than this does. That's kind of sad, isn't it? I mean, I know we have the 2024 coming, and there's all kinds of rumors out there about fuel economy, and honestly, I don't know that it's gonna be anything profound. I really doubt it, but it is gonna be better than we get right now. And I, I think instead of getting 15.2, for me, probably in that truck, I'll probably be closer to 19 or 20, maybe which still isn't some earth shattering number when it comes to fuel economy, but it's gonna be much better than what we currently have, I think. And it better be, because we're giving up the V6, going down to a, a turbo four, I would certainly think we ought to get something out of that in the way of fuel economy. Who knows, we shall see. I'm curious, has anybody out there put money down on the 2024? I know some people are doing it. I've heard people on, on other forums and stuff say that they've put money down. I don't know why. You're putting down money on something that you can't order and doesn't exist yet. But anyway, has, and that's your prerogative. You know, if, if you think that's gonna maybe enable you to get one quicker, then hey, I say go for it. If I was hot for one, well, I am hot for one, but the one I want is not available yet and won't be until next year. By the way, I've even heard rumor that that hybrid truck might not be available for two years. I hope not. There's gonna be a lot of mods done on this truck if that's the case, because I've already decided we're just gonna go all out and mod this truck like I would if I wasn't gonna do anything. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. I'd be curious if you're, uh, if you're jonesing for the 24 truck. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.